Hey everyone! Can you believe we are almost halfway through this 14er project? Looking back at some of the footage, you can tell we're getting a bit tired, but believe it or not, we are still having fun. And once again, our morning started off right with coffee and scones at our sixth coffee shop, River Blend Coffee House in Glenwood Springs. Good morning, day seven. Day seven. We're gonna start it off the right way with coffee. And sitting on our computers and planning the agenda for the next few days. Yay! This also gave us a chance to catch up on a little computer work too. Next up was something both of us direly needed to do. Shower. <laughs> Some people need it more than others. One thing you guys might notice is lacking in any episodes is us showering. And that's because we don't. Um, but today, because Jason is staying here in Glenwood in a hotel, he loaned us his shower and we got our first real shower in three weeks. And it was amazing. I feel like a new person. Look who's clean! I admit we felt like brand new people after taking these showers and we're pretty much ready to take on the world. Or at least take on the seventh brewery in our project, the Glenwood Canyon Brew Pub. Once again, I was so grateful to be able to meet up with my brother and sister-in-law, Jason and Emily. Glenwood built an amazing pedestrian bridge that overlooks their very popular hot springs. It made a perfect walk to our brewery. The brewery first opened its doors in 1996 and has been serving beers and winning awards ever since. And we all know there's just something about sitting in a brew pub over a beer that leads to great conversation. So we're here in Glenwood Springs and we're at brewery number, I forget, um, I guess going to 14 breweries and distilleries, we'll do that too. Um, but yeah, no visit here is complete without a trip to the Glenwood Canyon Brewing Company. One of the coolest things about this place is that almost three years ago, uh, this is one of the first places Kendrick and I came when I first met him. And sitting right over there at that table is where I first had the crazy idea and asked him to move into my teardrop trailer with me. And a few months later, I quit my job and hit the road with her. So Glenwood Springs has always been a fun place for me to visit. Being a Colorado native, it's the place to kind of come up to for the weekend when you want to get away. Uh, I've been coming to Glen, the pool is awesome, and uh, with the hot springs right across the street from the brew pub, it's been a spot I've visited many times over the years. I've always appreciated their beer. And uh, today I'm having the Hanging Lake uh, Ale, which is incredibly clear honey ale. Yeah, the Hanging Lake Honey Ale, incredibly clear, really tasty and refreshing. Uh, I'm enjoying it quite a bit. Yeah, I've been to Glenwood Springs a lot in the years. I've wow. grown up in Denver, but uh, this is my first time at the brew pub, and this is good. I'm having the same thing. Cheers. Next up was our sixth scenic drive, the stretch of Interstate 70 going through Glenwood Canyon. This feat of engineering was completed in the early 90s and cost nearly $500 million. The views are really impressive, but just remember to keep your eyes on the road. From Glenwood Springs, we had over 150 miles to drive. Along the way, we found our eighth water feature on the side of the road, the Berthoud Falls Cascades. All right, next up in our lakes and waterfalls category are these cascades above the town of Berthoud Falls. They're right off the side of the highway and about a 30 second walk from the car. So they make a great stop to get out and stretch your legs out on the drive over to Winter Park. And usually where there's a waterfall, there's a wildflower. So it makes perfect sense that we found our seventh wildflower right next to the Birth at Falls Cascades. All right, our next native Colorado wildflower is this pretty yellow thing here. It is called the beautiful sink foil. 
Um, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but it is in the rose family, which is perhaps why it's so beautiful. The flowers can grow up to 30 inches tall, and they have very unique looking leaves, making them pretty identifiable. I bet most of you can guess the reason that we had a 150 mile drive from Glenwood Springs. We'll give you three guesses, but we bet you only need one. And if that one guess is to visit a distillery, you were right. We made an hour detour up to Winter Park just to visit Idlewild Spirits Distillery and Brew Pub, our 10th distillery. This was another cozy feeling tasting room, so we bellied up to the bar and both ordered tasting flights of all their spirits. We also had a buy one get one free coupon for cocktails at the distillery, which the bartender took great care in making. But before heading out, we were lucky enough to talk to the master distiller, Jeff, who told us about his distillery and his knowledge of distilling spirits. Um, well, I'm Jeff Rule, the owner, master distiller, janitor, dishwasher, whatever I need to be on the given day of Idle Wild Spirits up here in Winter Park, Colorado. I just wanted to uh, do what I love in the place that I love. And up here in the mountains, it's not always easy to find um, a job that you're really passionate about. So. Why not create your own? We are unabashedly Colorado. We're Colorado from the Colorado farmers that we partner with to source our grains to the mountain adventure that's all around us and infused into every sip of the spirits that, that we serve. We do everything from scratch um, and we focus on the quality. Everything from the spirits that we distill to the food that comes out of our kitchen to the cocktails that you guys are drinking from behind the bar. And I think that quality and that passion really shows. It's really a blessing when when you can find other people that are as passionate about what is your your baby and can help you grow that because they're as passionate about the bar or our chef is passionate about the kitchen as I am about what comes out of that production and uh, the form of spirits. So. And with that, it was time to find a place to park Little Bear and call it a night. The next morning would be another return to the thin air of 14,000 feet. After seven days, our totals are four 14ers, 10 distilleries, seven breweries, six coffee shops, seven flowers, eight water features, and six scenic drives. We got a lot of mountains to climb. Whoa. The end of day seven brought us to the official halfway point of our 14er project. Yay. At this point, I was absolutely exhausted, but we had also settled into a routine where I could kind of almost feel like we might accomplish this weird little goal of ours. Just maybe. So if you enjoyed this video and would like to follow along with the remaining part of our 14er project, please subscribe to this YouTube channel now. You can also follow us on Instagram and Facebook at Mandy Lee Photo and at Kendrick Calloway. So here's the seven more days exploring colorful Colorado. Love and light. Love and light. I totally messed up my wink. Let's do that one more time. I did like Don't a- you always mess up your wink? No, but I messed it up like more than usual. I did like a, a double, I did like a double wink. It was really bad.